What do you think, Cole? Dude, I can't believe it, dude. <laughs> Colorado Bull 2019 season opening day right here, baby. We got it done. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. I don't want to waste any of your time, but I do want you to go elk hunting in 2020. And I'm about to show you how. Let's go to Idaho. The tag costs $571.50. That includes your hunting license. Fuel costs for around $600. Gear for around $900. I'm going to show you how to go elk hunting for less than 2000 bucks. Check it out. So guys, just so you know how I got the number on the fuel cost, I figured around 1,500 miles would be the average for people coming from like Midwest or even a little further east to Idaho. So I figured in around 3,000 miles round trip, your pickup getting around 15 miles per gallon and fuel costing around $3 on average. So plus or minus $600 for your fuel travel costs if you camp on your way to go elk hunting and don't get hotels and don't go to restaurants and stuff like that guys you can really save a lot of money so whenever i travel a lot of times i'll pack a cooler full of food from the house or whatever and that's what i'm going to take with me and that's what i'm going to munch on or that's what i'm going to eat off of you know on the days that i go back to the truck or whatever so keep that in mind Get creative with the different things that you can do with your elk hunting and go out there and experience the elk hunting woods in September, y'all. You're not going to regret it. And with it being January 15th today, you guys have so much time. Really prepare and go through your gear and learn how to use your gear and pack your backpack and all that stuff. So guys, Start now. Start picking up some of these items as you go through and as you get closer to summer, you know, finalize your backpack and it'll all be ready for you and you don't have to break the bank. Under 2000 bucks, I know you can talk your wife into it. This is the stuff you're gonna need to go elk hunting. Okay, A pair of boots, trekking poles, Rain jacket, solar panel, some food, elk calls or bugle tube, cooking set, platypus bag, water bag, filtration system. Some game bags. Some wipes. A headlamp. A shelter, a tarp. A knife sharpener, and it's got some tape on it. Some more food. These I make myself. One liter bottle, an Allen set for your bow. Another knife, just in case. In a backpack, time to go elk hunting. Okay, y'all, the backpack that I used in the past is this Teton Sports 4000. It's 84 bucks, but I found an equivalent backpack uh, right down here. And it has great reviews also, 421 of them. Um, and it looks like it's only 65 bucks. So I think that is gonna be my choice for this uh, budget elk hunt. For bladder, I like to use the platypus, um, the three liter. So if you go over here, let me get back to this here, click the three liter. And it is actually, cheaper right now for 22 bucks and you get free shipping so that's perfect three liters of that and then i get the small one liter instead of a nalgene bottle bottle right here um it's a lot cheaper 
did a Nalgene bottle, $8.95. Okay, y'all, for the water filter setup or y'all's setup, I would go with this gravity system, um, this uh, one gallon gravity water setup for $39.99. That way you can hang it overnight and it can filter um, or you can just filter it right into your bag from this big dirty bag. Guys, for the sleeping bag, this is what I would go with. The Coleman North Rim Zero Degree. You definitely want to get colder than what you think you're going to be in. And 2,000, almost at five stars, that is perfect. Um, the only downside for this 40-degree bag, it, or I mean $40 bag, is it's going to be a little bit heavy, a little over five pounds. But for the price, you can't beat that at all. Okay, y'all, this is one thing I would not go cheap on. This is a, for your sleeping pad. I, this is what I use. You wanna make sure that you get a four season sleeping pad because if not, it's not going to be insulated and you are not going to be warm. This is a very, very important thing. So spend the 70 bucks and get a good uh, sleeping pad. I promise you won't regret it. For a hammock, there's so many different choices out there and so many of them are good. Just make sure you're reading the reviews. But I like this setup right here. Uh, this is very similar to what I have and I've been camping out of it for a long time. 20 bucks, it comes with, with tree straps. Make sure it comes with all of your tree straps and your D, -link, your, your D rings and uh, carabiners and all that. So 20 bucks, can't beat it. Okay, for your tarp, same thing. There's a lot of different tarps out there. I love to use the 12 foot tarp because it is one foot shorter than my uh, hammock. Um, and I, this is the exact one that I have. It's the Outdoors Way hammock tarp, um, 40 bucks. I love this thing. It's by far one of the best uh, tarps that I've used for sure. Okay, y'all, for my camp stove, you're not gonna believe it, but this is what I use right here. This is the same exact one that I have, and I've used it for six years. I don't care what people talk about jet boils or any of that crap, 10 bucks. This thing boils water so fast, it blows my mind, and it is very efficient on fuel. X that deal, this is even better. 20 bucks, and it comes with, um, I don't think the, the can of fuel comes with it, but it has the the big cup at the bottom, small cup at the top, a spoon, and that same burner for 20 bucks. And that takes care of your entire uh, cook set. All right, and a can of fuel if you need one, only 10 bucks. Okay, y'all, if you're not going to make your own meals, I would recommend getting the bucket of 29 servings of Mountain House. You're looking at 82 bucks. These are the exact game bags that I used. Um, these are Allen Backcountry quarter bags. Um, the 28 by 50 inch, which are big bags. You come with four of them in there for uh, $42.86. Um, these are great bags and they're rewashable. All right, y'all, knife sharpener. Um, you know, I suggest definitely getting something to, to bring with you because when you knock that bull down, you're definitely going to need to retouch up your knife while you're going. So, uh, 25 bucks on a knife sharpener. All right. I always carry an Allen set with me. Uh, that way, if I have to work on my bow, which I have had to do before, you'll definitely need one of these. You're looking at nine bucks. Y'all, one thing that happens on the daily in Colorado or Idaho up there in the mountains a lot of times is it rains almost every time. So make sure you have a decent pair of, uh, of rain gear, pants and top, 50 bucks. All right, y'all, these are the boots that I wore for two seasons. Iris Setter, um, Vapor Tech, 8 inch, the 400 gram, 152 bucks for these boots. They've been great. Trekking poles, man, you can go sky's the limit on these things. Um, but these are pretty decent. Make sure you get the ones with the little clamps. Make sure that it's got the good clamp and it's not the, the screw on type. Um, $23, that's a smoking deal. You're definitely going to want these whenever you kill that elk, I promise. Hey, my elk call. Yeah, it's only, it's just a little Tykes uh, T ball set. Use that bat, cut the ends of it off, wrap it with some tape. Good to go. 18 bucks.
Okay guys, this is going to be an expensive part right here. So I use Elk 101 reeds and I use Felp game calls. So I actually used about, uh, man, I think I used a total of 10 of these, between 10 and 12 of these because I used mine and all of my uh, hunting partners. Um, so make sure you have enough because you will blow these out to where they won't sound the same. I could get maybe a day's worth out of one read. So keep that in mind. Make sure you have plenty to be able to call the whole time you're there. All right, headlamp. Uh, this is the one I use. I use a black diamond. Uh, mine's actually a little bit different model, but I have this one uh, that I carry in my pickup also. Looking at $37 for that. Looks like, uh, this one right here looks like it'll work out perfect. Um, a thousand lumens. It's got five modes. That's perfect. And it looks like you can uh, zoom in and out with it also. So that's really cool. I like that. So you got to stay clean while you're out there. I use dude wipes. They're two ninety eight on here for a 48 count. That's a smoking deal and make sure you get the unscented ones. Um, anyways, that's perfect. I usually take me a little wipey bath, uh, once every evening before I get into my hammock. Okay. You also want to get yourself a solar charger. I have this neck tech, uh, 21 watt, charger and it works great. It charges my phone within a couple of hours of it being in the, uh, in the sunlight. It's perfect. 50 bucks y'all. All right, y'all. Here's my cart. We're at $904 and 14 cents. We've got our backpack. We got our platypus bag, three liter. We've got a one liter bottle. We've got a one gallon filtration system. We've got a Coleman zero degree sleeping bag. We've got a sleeping pad. We've got our hammock. We've got our tarp, shelter, uh, we've got our cook set with burner, uh, propane for the burner, we've got our mountain house meals, 29 of them, we've got our game bags, a knife sharpener, an Allen set, rain gear, um, some Irish setter boots, trekking poles, a bugle tube, a few elk diaphragms, five of them actually, a uh, black diamond headlamp, a LED flashlight, some dude wipes, some ibuprofen, some bandages, and a solar charger. Awesome. You could even save another 50 bucks if you sign up for an Amazon card. Not bad. $904.14. So I know in this list, you guys can pick out whatever stuff you want. These are just examples, and a lot of this stuff I actually use myself, and I have for quite a while. It wasn't until just this last year that I bought a very expensive backpack. I hunted five years before that with just this Amazon type stuff. Guys, it didn't bring me any bad luck at all, and it didn't make any elk run away from me. I had just as much fun with this cheap stuff as I would with the expensive stuff. Oh, there's probably some of these things that you guys already have. And if you notice, I didn't, I didn't include clothes. Okay. Most of y'all probably already hunt and y'all hunt in colder weather. If you're hunting whitetail or stuff like that. So you already have a jacket, you already have hunting boots. So all of that stuff can save you money. You know, there's certain things on this list that you probably already have that's going to save you even more money anyway. So that's where I get to go elk hunting for under $2,000. And I mean, that's as easy as it is. And as you start building this stuff each year, your elk hunting trips are going to cost less and less. And you're going to learn different things that you want or different things that you might replace in your kit um, or vice versa. So that's versa. it guys, under 2000 bucks. You can get a tag in Idaho, $600 for travel, and around 900 bucks or less if you have some of the other stuff. It's that simple. Start saving right now, guys. Start building your kit. Hit me up uh, on the comments question, you know, on the comments if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, I'm more than willing to help you guys. I'm a flatlander. I'm from Texas. I go hunting in Colorado every year. I'm probably going to try Idaho this year. Um, it's that simple, guys. You just got to get into it.